Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be covering how to get the gold camo for all the different rifles so that you can go ahead and move on to the next camo called platinum. And obviously you're going to have to do this for every single weapon to get that Damascus camo if you're actually going to go for that grind. What I'm going to do is in today's video focus on how to make sure you can actually get this gold camo that much easier. to include some tips to make it as fast as possible. Keeping in mind that it is a grind, it'll take longer than it's ever taken in any other Call of Duty to actually get all your weapons gold. If you do enjoy the video or find it helpful, please remember to hit that like button. And if you're brand new around here, make sure you do subscribe with notifications on. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to the gunsmith. What you're going to look is see that I do have the gold camouflage. And what happens is as you level up the weapon, there's a lot of levels for the gun. It goes all the way up to 69. Some of the other weapons are up to 71 whatever the case is it just really depends on the category you're gonna go ahead and use the combat knife i think that one only goes up to level 31 so all the challenges are gonna be slightly different but when it comes to the rifle category you're gonna have to deal with the same camo challenges and there's really only one or two tricky ones that you really have to focus on besides that it's not really a big issue this first one's pretty easy it'll just happen organically it's just kills but when it comes to the woodland camos you're gonna end up with headshots which these are nothing new. Normally, you got to go ahead and do your 115, 120 headshots or whatever the case is. This one, just aim for the head. The time to kill is faster when you aim for the head. A lot of times, you're going to be able to kill someone in two bullets instead of four or five, depending on that range. This one right here took a little bit while longer just because I'm not really the crouch walker type. So this one's pretty straightforward. All you got to do is get crouch kills, and you're going to unlock all these various camos, and they actually go through them rather quickly. Next up is the dragon camo, and this was the hip fire kills. This one takes a little bit longer. You have to be a little bit more conscious of it. If you are in a close range engagement, you're definitely gonna wanna make sure you do hip fire the weapon instead of aim down sight. You can add on a laser sight to make this one a little bit easier. So this one's still pretty straightforward camo. Long shots. If you play ground war, you're gonna get a long shot on a majority of your kills because they've actually reduced the long shot range for rifles and LMGs to only 38 meters which is really not all that far. So this topo camo is actually probably one of the more difficult ones. It just is more of a grind. You have to do a lot of mounted kills. See, this one's currently glitched, but I went ahead and completed all of them. You have to get a ton of mounted kills. What you're gonna have to do is try and find locations where you can mount up and get kills consistently. I'm gonna show you a couple areas, and this one's just something you're gonna have to grind through. I mean, it's just a tough one. There's a lot of areas you can mount. It does involve you slightly camping, but there are a lot of sight lines where you could just mount your gun and get a couple of kills here and there. And ideally you're getting about 10, 12 mounted kills a match. And this will go through pretty quickly. I made the mistake of waiting till I leveled the gun all the way up to skulls before I actually decided grinding out the mounted kills. And by the time the weapon was level 69, I only had four mounted kills. So don't make that mistake. That will actually set you back significantly because these mounted kills, they do take a while, especially if you're not focusing on them. Tiger camo. This one's pretty straightforward. You just play with the gun, five attachments, not a big deal. And then you have the stripe camo, which is probably one of the more annoying ones. You need to get a kill after reloading. And I'm gonna show you how to make sure you accomplish this one because it is a grind. You need 50 kills shortly after reloading. And the definition of shortly after reloading is different in this game than I've seen in other games. Literally, you have to be pressing the trigger when you are reloading and the reload animation is done and all those bullets need to hit in order for this one to count. So this one takes quite a while if you don't understand the mechanic all that well. And then you need 100 kills, no attachments or whatever the case is. This one's rather easy. Just play the default gun. And since the guns have pluses and minuses to them, the gun has clean iron sights. You can use the weapon, go through these kills rather quickly as well not a huge issue and then you get skulls which all you need to do is get three kills consecutively and that tends to happen a lot in this game you get two three kills you die two or three kills you die because if you decide to move you are going to get shot so this one took no time at all i think it took like three or four matches and this entire thing was already done it didn't take long at all and then that unlocked the completionist camo of gold and if you go ahead and complete this process for all the weapons in the rifle category you're going to go ahead and end up getting platinum and then you have to do it for all weapon classes, and that includes secondaries to go ahead and get the Damascus camo, which it says unlock diamond camo for all weapon classes. Then it's called Damascus. So I don't know where they're split on that. Maybe a little bit of laziness there, but it is what it is. But what I wanted to do in this particular demonstration is certain sight lines you can actually mount up rather easily. 
and you can get a majority of your mounting kills so i'm gonna go ahead and start on this left side so one good mounting kill is this building this building has a ton of mounting locations if someone's over here in the trench you'll hear a call out someone in the trench pretty much you can mount and you get good sight line pretty much to anywhere on this hill so in addition to that you can also get a good sight line if you want to go ahead and peek here you can go ahead and spot people coming out of spawn to this left side if somebody's in that window you can actually wall bang through this wall and obviously fmj is going to help in that particular regard and then there's also people coming out right there and then also people coming out right there you could just modify your angle and you can actually shoot people coming through this little area and that's a clean line of sight for your mounting of your weapon that's just on that side let's go ahead and move to the other side so obviously you can mount there mount there this isn't as good a sight line because you can get hit from different angles down below you're standing out in the open when you're mounted so overall this is okay especially if you know someone's in that window what you could do is post up real quick and then if you want to do a crouch mount you can go ahead and kill two birds with one stone another one right here if they're gonna come through over here they're gonna come through that area as they flood out you can go ahead and mount up mount up there's a lot of different mounting spots just within this angle and then uh what happens is you can also mount from here as people are coming out of this left area you can mount this way as they come out through here if they're in this building as they cut across the so grasna raid is probably gonna be your best bet because there's so many areas that you can actually mount and it'll line up with where enemies are coming from so if there's guys coming out right there you can go ahead and post up and boom and you're good to go uh as far as this side of the map there's a little bit less only because since that's a central area of the map the, a lot of the foot traffic goes through there like i could go mount here but there's not gonna be a lot of traffic in these sight lines other than maybe somebody capping the b flag you can go ahead and shoot them there uh if i want to come through here get a nice little window peek over here you can see right there back at the playground on this side of the map not really all that clear and you can go ahead and get this angle but it's really not all that visible maybe if someone's coming out through there you can go ahead and do it so there are a few different options obviously if you want to go ahead and take different angles you're good to go but ideally grasner raid is the way to go if you're going and camping this building a little bit what you can do is wait till the enemy starts capping c and then what you can do is actually get a good sight line and go ahead and take them out there 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 i mean there's a lot of angles on top of that if you end up on this side you can actually go to the top here and as people are coming out from there you can mount here obviously this is kind of a little bit spawn trappy but it's in the game the way it is there's there they literally put this in there to do it boom 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 wherever people are coming out if people are going to come out through there you can walk mount there i mean i wouldn't really mount there because it doesn't allow you to do it sideways but you can go ahead and get there and boom pop up and you're good to go um the last one that i would really focus on is probably this building uh in case you guys didn't know you can actually go up to the top here and it actually offers a good number of sight lines ideally what happens is your teammates are on this side of the building and your teammates are on this side so what will end up happening is that'll force spawn most of the enemies into this back area and what ends up happening is they have to walk across no man's land in this area where it's all open so you could either mount up here shoot people as they're coming across this way mount up here as they're coming through there um, or you could even mount up on this side and as they come out the gate they're in the window or they're up in this area especially if you're playing hard point they're going to be in this building and you can go ahead and just take them out there there or even there and then the sight line actually cuts across so if you hear them in the trench trench is really no man's land look at these sight lines you can pretty much get all the way across so if you need to do your mounted kills as soon as you unlock the ability to do mounted kills start focusing on them and that'll be pretty much the hardest part of the grind the other part that's really tricky is with the uh reload one so what i recommend doing is running around with one bullet missing in your magazine and pretty much what will happen is okay uav went off okay enemies capturing b let here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna reload jump out and then go ahead and do it that way that's gonna be your easiest bet to get those done 
and you just run around without reloading. So right now I have 39 bullets, which is plenty. And if I see someone in this building, okay, I know he's right there. Okay, I saw him. Let me reload. And just time it right so you can get the kill immediately after the reload. And that's typically what you're going to do. You're going to run out with a little bit of bullets missing in your magazine. Try to fight that urge to reload. And if you know someone's coming out of a specific area on the mini map, oh, they're going to come out over there. Boom. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reload. They're coming out. And then you're good to go. So those are my recommendations. Those are going to be the two hardest challenges you're going to have. Run around with one empty bullet. If the opportunity arises, take advantage of it. I ended up dying quite a few times just from trying to wait for the reload because there is a reload animation delay where it doesn't let you fire the bullet right away, which is kind of annoying. Boom. See, you know there's a little bit of delay there. So pretty much that's how it goes. Hopefully you guys found the video helpful. If you did, please remember to hit that like button. If you're brand new around here, make sure you do subscribe with notifications on. Appreciate all the support on the content. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.